This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review because I received something from this, which is these fantastic decals for this Hound. fantastic figure. So Hound, a uh, favorite of mine, uh, Siege Mold, and I just got the decals. And my son, he's sick today, and we wanted to do a little video together. And he likes to play with it. Alright, doesn't want to play with it now. So, you know, it's like Transformers on camera. You know, they don't cooperate. You're done? Yeah. You're done? Okay. Alright, he's gone. So, there you go, guys. That's going to be my review for today. Hound. Uh, fantastic character from the original show. And uh, it's uh, great to have decals for him. And also, it came with the roof. So, I'm glad that Toy Hacks, although they discontinued doing the. Uh, just slam the door. I know, he, although they discontinued doing the prowl uh, cannon shoulder, they still did the uh, shield roof, uh, well, see, shield slash roof for Hound. So that's gonna be, uh, I actually installed it and it looks pretty good. So I'm uh, looking forward to, to that. I think I'll skip the buzz, I think it's Buzzworthy Bumble, Bumblebee, um, uh, the earth mode vehicle. Maybe I'll skip that depending. Uh, of the uh, the price which it's only sold at Toys R Us if it does happen so that means it's gonna be 10 bucks uh, more expensive uh, that's annoying but uh, enough about this I'm gonna apply the decals uh, show you a bit of the figure before I do that though um, I want to remind you to check out later my voice acting playlist I mean feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out my sponsor DJC collectibles a fantastic online store and now let's roll the intro I'm not. They don't care about anyone. Not even their own. Hey, Ravage! Watch this! <laughs> Here's your friend Megatron to keep you company! Well, taking a look at this, I want to point out um, something really cool. I mentioned earlier that, in an earlier video, that Toy Hacks was now, you know, disposing of the white cardboard. And now they actually have, you know, product shots with their Toy Hacks enhancement. And that looks really good. And I theorized that they were going to do a rotation on uh, these sets. And they do. Now we have, uh, I think that's Dead End. I didn't, uh, I don't, uh, I didn't collect the Stunticon, so. But he, the, you know, I think that's cool, because now, if you want, you can keep those, because those are beautiful pictures. You know, and it's what we see when we order the, the, the sticker set, so. It's not bad, I really like that. And now, taking a look at the actual decals, uh, one sheet, it's a two-part set. Uh, that's going to make him a lot more earth mode and militarized. And I like that. Uh, there's even a G.I. Joe logo, uh, which I don't think I'll use because I'm not not big on G.I. Joe. I mean, I like to watch, let's say, Inutabi's reviews of G.I. Joe's and Kato's and the others that do so, but I don't collect them. So, But this, uh, you know, it's, it's an option and that's always good. And then you have, I don't know, a lot of tail lights or headlights. We'll see. This looks really good. And then you have, like I said, the little shield. So that, you know, it goes on the roof in alt mode, or you can put it on his arm. Uh, and there's going to be decals for that, I'm sure. So that's fun. It's really good. They gave me a big, uh, shiny... Can you see it? There you go. Yeah, the Decepticon logo. Uh, I just ordered a Jinbao uh, Bruticus, so that might actually be a good decal for it. And I have this, part two of two. Um, I don't know where they go, but uh, it looks good. So, now taking a look at the Hound itself. You know, uh, older model, uh, looks good. I was really happy to find him. I found him on discount at Walmart. Uh, him and Red Alert, and they had a bunch of other... Uh, uh, I think it's Wave 2, maybe Wave 1 of the... Uh, uh, siege so that was uh, was a good day and my wife was like you can't buy two I'm like yeah I could buy three if I could you know so anyway I like this mold a lot uh, I know he was reused for a blue hotshot uh, I don't know which version of hotshot that is but I didn't pick that up 
I really dig uh, this mold. And the pay hit application on him are already very good. Okay, battle damage, I know a lot of people don't really like that. Uh, but, you know, the stars, uh, the cannon for the, well, the holographic projector looks good. The blue eyes, you know, silver, gray, green, good combo. They didn't care for his personality on the show. He was more of a Ironhide type guy. And the actual, you know, backpack with the clear uh, window on front. So, it looks good. And I really like the leg transformation on this guy. It's a bit hollow, but it's uh, really good. So... There you go. Final look at Hound before we apply the decal. A gigantic illusion that'll trick the Decepticons into coming to us on our terms. And we're back from the shop. Uh, what's left is one star. Uh, you can, that's for the hood. Uh, you can have, well, I'll show you. And what else is left? Uh, for the shield, you get the, the star or the one with the Autobot logo. He already has an Autobot logo, so I just went with the regular uh, star, and I didn't put the G.I. Joe. And then you have an extra decal for um, well above his waist. And an extra one for the back of the uh, of the truck. So that's pretty neat. Figure itself. It looks really good now. Like, the um, nothing for the eyes, so that's always a plus for me, because I don't like to apply those. Um... You know, they kept the original stars, but they did add, well, that's probably going to be more, yeah, apparent. And I'll show you the star in uh, alt mode. Uh, you have the, the whole hood uh, decal here, here for the headlight. Um, then for the crotch, uh, not, you have those little enhancements here. Looks good. And then you have something for the tie here, the knee. Gets a, a mark and then an arrow. I think I inverted inverted those. Yeah, I probably did. That's uh, I thought it was text, but so basically it says mark here and then the arrow points the other way. Whatever. Uh, and then you have a little announcement here. Nothing to cover the battle damage. I could always, you know, use some alcohol and remove those. For the arm, you do have... Oh, sorry. You do have this announcement here and here. And anything else specific to the robot mode? No, everything else is alt mode related. Well, the shield, but again, that you'll see more in alt mode. So there you go. Final look at Hound in uh, robot mode. Now let's move to the uh, alt mode. Easy, like this. Incredible. Now watch this. Who's he? Now taking a look at the alt mode, I think that's one of my favorite alt mode from the Siege line. I think it's very original. I love the way how they did that, and I love the leg transformation. I think it's a very ingenious way to do legs. Um, I wish, you know, they could have maybe replicated that with tracks. I don't know. It would have saved a lot of problems. But taking a look at Hound in alt mode, I love how they have a lot of options for weapon placement. That's really cool. The paint application on this one is already good. I mean, it's, you have some battle damage, you have some highlights for the cargo area, cargo area, sorry about that. Uh, the painted uh, wheels, that looks really good. Uh, the front end, you know, you have all that silver, the headlights, battle damage, the, it looks, you know, the winch, the details on it is pretty good. You have the side uh, uh, lights. You know, everything on this guy. I mean, yes, there's, you know, the hands underneath and it kind of looks goofy. Uh, but it's no big deal, right? It's not a deal breaker. And, you know, the uh, weapon drum being a kind of a spare tire or maybe a fuel can at the back. Uh, it's really good. And he has almost has seats, you know. So that's pretty cool. And I like the clear window here. Uh, but I'm hoping... I didn't see any uh, decals for that you know something that would make it like a, the blue window that they usually provide so I would have loved to see that but yeah can't win them all so all right final look at Hound before he goes to the paint shop I just saw Prime he told me Teletran once located a secret supply of rocket fuel and now to take a look at the out mode he looks absolutely Fantastic. I love, I didn't think that the shield was going to make such an improvement uh, as a roof, but he looks really good with it. Um, taking a closer look, 
you have for the wheels you have some little extra decals on this looks pretty good um, you know the painted look itself was already good enough but uh, no I like those and then you have uh, these for the uh, containers uh, on each side looks good you have the a big decal all the way here all around that's just one piece to enhance the hood it looks really good and then that's the star you have the other one is to give it a uh, clearer interior so you know it's up to you you do what you want it's your figure you have uh, this enhancement on the hood looks good the shield gives you superb head light so now you can really you know blind people with this looks really good and then you have the uh, I don't know solar receptor on top I guess and that could work uh, front end uh, well you've seen but you have the uh, headlights and then this uh, I guess kind of it's really really tiny so I'm having a hard time reading this um, I think I get the word army maybe it just says hound I don't know it's too small for me uh, and then 4647 uh, looks good the uh, okay that's the roof you have a little enhancement here so I, I don't know what's that supposed to be really and then you have the uh, back end you have tail lights and then you have uh, 84 85 so the year of season one 1984 02 085 so uh, I'm not too sure maybe that's a serial number um, from G1 could be it uh, I'm not that versed in all those series and then G50 58B so there you go what else well you have the shield you have the D12 and the star and then like I said you can have the, the Autobot logo instead if you prefer so that looks good and that's pretty much it I think it's a fantastic set and the shield I mean it's easily removable like it's it, it's not a permanent fix because you have to remove it if you want to use it as a shield so but the roof it clips nice it's you know stable uh, but easy to remove so that's a plus so there you go guys that's my final look at hound in alt mode I think it's a fantastic set uh, this actually completes what I wanted to toy hacks from my season one Autobots I'm missing Jetfire which I have no plan on toy hacksing and uh, Windcharger and Brawn are from the previous uh, Prime Wars trilogy line so I'm not toy, ax toy axing them right now and I don't have a Gears so but for season one Autobots that's it until you know they release the, the, the next uh, Dinobots so well, thanks for stopping by guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care